How do YouTube a really cool review for you today? And that's because we're taking a look at the new Star Wars The Force Awakens power up stormtrooper armor. We've got Finn. A really cool looking figure, certainly one I was not expecting them to make. I love it, to be honest. When I was a little kid, I had the old school Kenner Star Wars figures, some of the best figures ever made of all time. And one of those that was my favorite was the Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper figure, where basically, I, for me growing up, I always loved the, the bad guys. Don't ask me why. I was a big fan of Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers, thought they looked awesome. So it was really cool when they released the Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper figure because you you know, could have him displayed as a Stormtrooper, which I love, but also then the good guy, Luke Skywalker. So uh, that's what we've got, I guess, with this Finn figure. Looks really cool. The face looks fantastic, a, a lot better than some of the other ones that we've gotten. And uh, I really like the look of this armor. It looks fantastic. It's like a mech suit out of the Force Unleashed game or, or something like that. But yeah, really cool looking figure. Very excited to get it opened up and out of packaging. In terms of the packaging, you've got a shot of Finn there. Uh, I thought he was a good character in the movie, to be honest. I thought he was a good actor. He did a good job. The movie itself I loved. I know some people are saying it's just a straight up remake of the original. And yes, but I still enjoyed it. Don't ask me why. I, I really liked the movie. The only thing I didn't like about the movie or two things I should say. One, they take Kylo Ren's mask off and he's this dweeby looking guy. That killed it for me. He needed to keep the mask on. Very scary, very intimidating, loved it. And the other thing I didn't like is, then I've had a mental blank. Uh, that's right, Captain Phasma. The most useless Star Wars character of all time. Even more useless than Boba Fett. At least Boba Fett captured Han Solo, and, uh, you know, in the fifth movie, I guess, he's kind of a badass. She was just a, a completely pointless character. There's the leader of the Stormtroopers, someone who's supposed to be absolutely amazing, and she's just an absolute dud. But anyway, that's enough of uh, the movie rant. Let's get this figure opened up. A very quick look at the back of the packaging. The read-up on the back says, After his first taste of combat during a brutal First Order night assault on a Jakku village, Stormtrooper FN2187 defects from Kylo Ren's forces, becoming a fugitive. Very nice. I would love to have seen a Stormtrooper looking like this in the movie. That, look at that. That's excellent. I really like that. Uh, the Power Up series I really like as opposed to some of the other ones we've gotten in the past that I think have been a little bit poor. At least the accessories here serve some kind of purpose and add extra playability to the figure. Kylo Ren, I've reviewed that. That's a great figure. The Flame Trooper, I've reviewed another great figure. The TIE Fighter Pilot, I haven't come across, and the Chewbacca, uh, I've got no clue what that green thing is. But let's get Stormtrooper Finn opened up. Okay, and here we've got Stormtrooper Finn opened up and out of packaging. I will bring it forward so you guys can take a look at his face. Try and zoom in on that for you. Uh, it is a nice face, apart from the <laughs> really bad paint app on his eyes. Uh, that's awful. The quality control on that is, is shocking. Look at him. He's got like a lazy eye. Lazy eye fin. Um, <laughs> apart from that, it's actually a really good face. Um, a cool looking figure. He is a, a chubby looking stormtrooper. That's one thing that... Uh, you notice straight off the bat. I'm going to bring in another one just for comparison. Okay, so there's confirmation. There can be no doubt Finn has been uh, packing on the beef. Uh, definitely a much bigger Stormtrooper figure than we've got. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm a little surprised at that. I thought they were just going to use a straight up remake of one of the other figures and just change their head. As it turns out, it's a completely different mold. So I guess that's kind of cool. Well, different top half, I should say. Uh, and having said that, I'll bring in Captain Phasma. Look how much taller, actually. That's crazy. Look at that. She's giant. Um, scaling on that, I think, is a little off, to be honest with you. But uh, it seems like they've got the... No, even then, it's a completely different top half. So that's cool. A completely new sculpt for Finn, who's uh, clearly been capitalizing on his recent stardom at the buffet. But... Yeah, a really awesome figure. Now, the main reason I bought this, if I'm completely honest, uh, is for this. The power armor accessory. That looks outstanding. Look at that. It is a Stormtrooper mech suit. I love it. 
complete with Gatling gun and all. That's outstanding. I am really happy with that. Now, uh, in terms of, I guess, putting it on, it does slide over the top. There we go. Quite easily, to be honest. So, I mean, there's not a lot of work involved or anything like that. And uh, there you go. He's ready for battle. I mean, it does. It literally just clips on. So, there's nothing else to it. It is pretty easy to use. And visually, I think it looks fantastic. All right, now, I did actually notice something that would explain the chubbiness of this Stormtrooper, and that is, of course, this thing comes off. So, uh, my bad. Turns out he's doing all right for himself. And uh, you can remove the chest armor plating, which is kind of a cool accessory, and then you can see, actually, um, even like that is kind of a cool-looking figure, to be abundantly honest. Even that looks pretty cool and then you can slide this on and uh, I guess it fits the same it doesn't look as good I don't think because of the gap in the armor but there you go there's the the power armor stormtrooper very nice indeed lots of cool detail it would have been nice if this had been black or, or gray or something like that but overall very nice so overall, I really like this figure. Visually, I think it looks fantastic. It's a stormtrooper in a mech suit, essentially. And who doesn't like that? If you can find this guy, I think he's well worth picking up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the review on the Power Up Battle Armor Stormtrooper Finn.